Hello, it's day 85. Uh, we are in Allentown, Pennsylvania, I believe. Um, this is our zero today, so I have done a whole lot of not much, which has been wonderful. Slept in. We did, went out for breakfast, had a really good breakfast at a diner. And we stopped off and got a few supplies at the grocery store and at Walmart. And there was some banking. Now we're just back at the hotel, really just watching television, doing some videos, uploading, and relaxing. Did some laundry, so, I mean, there's zero days, but you still got lots of chores to do. But it's been kind of nice to just relax, do nothing. Um, yeah, it's going to rain tonight. It was The weather's been off and on as to what it was actually going to do. Uh, but it looks like it's going to rain tonight, so hopefully tomorrow and the following week is actually supposed to be really great weather. Um, sunny, it's pretty muggy out right now, so uh, I think that will probably be the same for the, the rest of the week. I think that's just the natural um, sort of summer weather down here. But So the plan is to be on trail again tomorrow, probably do another 20 mile. Um, other than that, there's really not much to say. It's uh, nice and relaxing. Got to call the family, see how everyone's doing, make sure they all know I'm still alive and kicking. And that's pretty much the end of it. So with that, I'm going to say that's day 85. Not much. It's a great zero day. We didn't really explore that much. Sorry, Allentown, Pennsylvania, but I want to sit on my tush. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Alrighty, I'm going to say goodnight. And I'll see you tomorrow on the trailhead. Good morning. We are on day 80... Uh, 80, 86? 86. Yes. Um, we're back at the Blue Mountain Trailhead. We're going to be doing 21 miles ish, I think, today. So, a big day. It is sunny out. It rained last night, so the forest is wet and the rocks are a bit slippery, but it is sunny out. And it, I think it's probably going to be a bit of a stinker today. Very hot and humid, but it's really nice right now. So, back at the trailhead, I just have to cross the highway here. Um, it's quite comfortable out, actually. I think it's like in the 70s right now but i think it's supposed to probably get up to the mid 80s by the time the humidity kicks in we finished our zero at the hotel last night so that was really nice i'm all clean showered laundered etc got food in the belly coffee in the tummy and i'm ready to go so this is a bit of a busier road today so not entirely sure where the trailhead is, but I do see a blaze over there. So we're going to head across the street and uh, go from there. All right, let's get started. Okay, again, Appalachian Trail. I came from there. stairs and into the bush. Alright, let us go. Okay, so that is the Thunderhead Lodge. So, if you were passing through north or south the right time, you could go for dinner there. Because apparently they do some pretty good food there. And the lookout hostel um, where the rest of the tramway sailed or st stayed, they're zeroing today. We zeroed in a day earlier because Jeff had gotten stung twice. Uh, but they're zeroing today, literally 0.1 miles down the other road at the Lookout Hostel. So, good choices to stay and eat if you're on the trail here, right at the trailhead. I gotta love when that happens, and that definitely is happening a lot more and more. All right, so 
This is the road we're on this morning. You can see everything is quite wet from the rain last night, so uh, the rocks will definitely be on the slipperier side, and I'm sure will increase with intensity because that is the nature of Pennsylvania. It's just we can't have little rocks, gotta have big rocks. But it is a beautiful day. Decent flat piece of ground-ish, and I just wanted to go over with you two of my favorite pieces of gear, which I use all the time. The first piece of gear, which has gotten way more use than anticipated, and a lot of people always say, uh, "I'm not sure if I'm going to need it," or they bring it and they they tend to never use it, and then they wonder why they bring it. It weighs nothing, and it is my bug net. This year, especially with all the excess rain, it has gotten so much use. Uh, I got a lot of use in Maine because of the mosquitoes, because they just, oh, they hover around your ears, and I'm not a big fan of putting bug spray on my face. I'll put it on my legs, my arms, my, my back, and whatnot, but my face, I tend to be a little less reluctant. I certainly did in Maine, because my mental health required that I do but the bug net honestly was the, the saving grace especially when the black flies came out because they just dive bomb your eyes and the bug spray doesn't seem to have much of an effect on them and the deer flies and the horse flies and every other dive bombing bug that wants to attack you at least the bug net will hold that off so they don't penetrate it. So definitely well worth it. I mean, if you don't use it, fine. It doesn't weigh anything, but if you need it, oh, you're gonna be so happy you do have it. And it will make your day so much better if you have it. The second piece of gear that I really love are my poles. I have the Lecky I think they're micro vario carbon. Um, now, a lot of people on the trail do use poles. I actually see more poles usage than not. Um, but that being said, uh, there's a lot of people still up in the fence on whether they should bring poles or not. I definitely think they're worth it, uh, especially on the trail here. I use mine all the time. And for the most part, they have saved me from so many falls. They didn't save me from that last fall, but that's because I got my feet tripped up. And I, well, I don't know what happened there, but uh, many times the four, four points of contact um, have saved me from falling a lot more than I would have. And I also swing off them when the sort of the long distance that I have to bum slide down or control myself with. So they are definitely worth it. Um, I have not broken my poles. Many people have, um, particularly in the rocky sections. Jeff broke, I think, he's broken three of them. He was gonna just get a big wooden stick but he likes having the stability too. So he wants a pole, but the problem with him is when you're a big tall guy, your pole selection and strength are limited, uh, especially if you do get the cheaper ones. I don't know if the expensive ones are any better, to be honest. Um, it's just because you've got so much weight on a thin, lightweight uh, pole, essentially. Um, that has to be extended far out. Because I'm short, 
I have short segments in my poles, so they're a lot stronger. So, because I have beat the living snot out of these poles and they're still holding strong. So I definitely highly recommend poles. Like I said, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Walmart even sells poles. I mean, don't expect great things out of poles like that, but they have them. Costco sells them as well. Mm, I'm really over these rocks. Um, but yeah, you, I mean, you can get a pair for like 30, 40 bucks and they will last. And some people, that's all they ever need. Mine cost a little more, but I knew that and I bought them with that intent in mind. Because honestly, maybe they'll be the last pair of poles I ever need to buy. And I would really like that because I really like these poles. They've worked well for me. Uh, a lot of people like the carbon, or, sorry, cork grips because they help with sweat. Mine are more of a rubberized. Um, they do sweat a bit, not very much, but uh, they're not quite like the cork and they won't ever fully mold to my hands like a cork will, but that's a personal preference. So my two ultimate pieces of uh, gear that I would not leave home without, bug net, trekking poles. I mean, obviously there's lots of other things, but those two items definitely are items that can be left off a gear list and, you know, not break it. But at the same time, if you need them, they will definitely make it. So just my little two cents. Okay, so we're at about mile nine. This is an area called um, Dan's Pulpit, which just looks at the, the farmland down there. Um, some people have speculated that it's a lot of Amish down there um, due to the lack of power lines. I don't know if that is the, actually the case, but it is quite pretty. Um, I just ran into a uh, trip, another southbounder. And I gotta say, it's the first time I've been called Mrs. Meatwagon. He got uh, a bit rained on this morning, so he was just drying his gear out. But I think I might have some lunch soon. This looks like a good place to do it. Although I have been warned, this is a happy place for rattlesnakes to sun themselves, and I can see why. Okay, apparently I left a cookie crumb and some lucky ant has just found him himself that cookie crumb so he's pretty pleased. They are going to go on a sugar bender tonight. Ladybug has come to hang with me. Maybe the ladybug will help my knee heal. So I just took a hell of a tumble. And it's swelling up pretty good. Okay, ladybug. There you go. Okay, so I'm just resting on a rock right now. Um, I did a bit of a tumble. I guess I, I don't know. I fell forward in Roxylvania and it wants to kill me, I'm sure. But I did bump my head. So that's gonna give me a nice big goose egg. Scratched my glasses. Got 
both hands. Didn't break anything, didn't concuss myself or anything. Winged, both knees pretty good. This one is definitely starting to swell up a bit. So I did a number on myself, or should I say Pennsylvania did a number on me. Anyway, I'm just resting for a bit because that really hurt. I guess I just, I don't know, my foot got stuck on something and propelled me forward into uh, the, the rocks that are Pennsylvania. At least the rocks that I did hit were all sort of smooth and flat. There weren't any jagged ones. I didn't get poked or anything. I didn't break anything, but it's still, I'm going to be very tender and I'm probably going to have a, well, I already have a massive headache, but I'm going to be very sore. But I'm going to relax and just finish the day out and just take it a little bit slower because that's really all you can do. I mean, there's not much else. Just keep going and take better, closer attention to the feet, as I thought I was doing, but I guess I was not. I thought I was in the zone. There's no zone in Pennsylvania. You just got to focus on your feet and hope that they do as you think they're going to. They did not. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the rest of the day for filming, and I will connect and give you an update tomorrow. Oh, and just as a quick final note, yes, Jeff was with me <laughs> when I fell, so it's, you know, it's not like I fell by myself. And, you know, even if I had, there's not much really he, he can do that I didn't already do. Um, but anyway, so I'm all good. I'm all safe and sound. Took some Tylenol and some Advil, and we're just gonna let those kick in and then we'll get moving. Alrighty.